Hi there, Anders here from Sermon Drums. I just want to show you a couple of tricks which I usually use uh, when I'm doing uh, uh, configurations and uh, sound settings for Toolbox. So, um, I'm using the fantastic application uh, Drumit Manager from Lustark. So, and with that application, extremely powerful, you can do a lot of tasks. I'm going to show you three or four different tasks which I'm using quite a lot. So hang on. If you start and download the Drumit Manager from Lustark, you will <coughs> actually be able to, you know, open current dkit files. So, so and that from your SD card or whatever. So I've actually downloaded a, a complete new installation just to show you here. <coughs> I've downloaded it from Tubox website because I'm a Tubox owner. So this was the MK2 image. So and here you see all the configuration and things like that. So uh, which is good, of course. <coughs> And if I close that one, so like this, and actually I could open the current, uh, as you saw in the previous, if I placed this on an SD card, which of the DKIT files are, is it really using when it's uh, booting the system on the toolbox? And as you saw on, on the previous video here, that uh, if you boot it up, you will actually see uh, Two box, the two, two box model will actually show which uh, configuration file which is used when booting it up. So, so I know it's this one, so I'm gonna open this. <clears throat> and as you see here, you see all the, you know, all the uh, sound banks up to, is it 74 or something like that? I have a couple of sound bar banks. I was able to do that for two box. Thank you. Uh, from I think 61 to 74 that's mine mine actually so my creation so if you look on a <coughs> uh, on a drum set on all the sounds you're actually able to pre-listen to them so uh, okay how it's and as you see there it looks it looks good if there was something wrong that the, the sound file was actually missing in the directory, it doesn't matter where it actually is on the SD card. Uh, Toolbox will find it anyway. And the, it's the same thing with this uh, Drumit Manager application. It will find the right uh, path to the sound file, so, which is quite neat and convenient. So, so okay. Uh, just to show you a couple of tricks which I do, uh, you saw I had 74 sound banks here, so that's good. And if I look on unit here, I will actually able to see the configuration as well. And I said, this was my, I just downloaded it from Toolbox, so th this is their settings. It's not my settings, which I'm using currently and things like that. So, Okay, uh, how can I actually migrate my settings, current settings from my toolbox module onto this new image. It's quite easy in Drumit Manager. If you click on import, <coughs> uh, you can actually take the dkit file if you're sure which dkit file which is uh, the system it's booting on. And I have an old uh, Drumit 5 which I have actually copied the dkit file. And I will open this one because it's including all the settings which I'm using. So, and as you see, it actually changed everything here. So, so this is my settings. That's good. So, so in this case, uh, I have actually, I have all the the new sound sounds, but I have migrated in my configuration for my two box drum sets. Pretty neat, isn't it? So, and just to show you here, I will save this, hopefully, click again, right, into a new file. You can actually call it whatever you like. So if you, uh, yeah, init Anders, like this. Perfect. And as you see, it's saved to drum it init Anders. So this is my file. So. Okay, what about, now I took the configuration, but I want to use some sounds from the old configuration. I 
will do like this. I will actually open this old Gromit dkit file. And as you see, here you see the old sound configuration showing up. All the one, I think they had almost 100, 100 banks really. So I was looking for a certain kit here. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, probably not. Uh, there is a fantastic kit which has been, you know, just everybody forgot about it. But now I'm gonna I'm gonna find it for you in the next videos. I promise you. But if I take a, let's say, uh, I know this, uh, the Omar kit, fantastic kit. Uh, if I go back here, <clears throat> okay, you see, ah, you see, it's black. But on the new image, it won't find this uh, this hi hat. It's I think it's some kind of cilian or something like that. This height is not there on my new image. So actually, if I copy everything from my old SD card onto the new structure and open this uh, dkit file, I will actually be able to to. Uh, see all the you know config all the sounds so this this one will actually be turned black if it finds the sound file so which is quite neat uh, actually so but in this case it is not that there on my new image which I have downloaded from two box so. so that that could be a problem of course so. but if I take let's see uh, this 808 pretender I took the Omar I don't know if there's uh, some other kits I want to have. Let's jo Joe's Rosanna, like this, three kits. I'm actually able to export these kits. Yeah, quite nice. I will actually place that in dkit files, select folder, right. And if I look on that dkit file, yeah, it actually uh, exported these files. So, Okay, these files is only sound, so which is important to understand also. So if I do like this, I can actually do like this that I am opening. Let's see if I go back here, uh, desktop, <coughs> I go to dkit files, I take the Rosanna, Rosanna kit. You will see it was only show up the the configuration or the sound configuration and you see all is red. So the actually sound files is not on my new image so, so I need to copy that onto this download which I have but but as you see here I have have it all here so okay <clears throat> let's do like this I will open again uh, the uh, my let's see my Gromit files I had that in downloads and I will open the Anders kit which we created there we go all right and I said there were 74 slots. If I place myself on slot 75, I can actually import, let's see here, desktop, the dkit files, these three guys. I think I can do all of them. Ah, and as you see, 75, 76, 77. Everything fixed. And as you see here, now it's actually taken to the account. It's looking on my current image if I have the sounds and as you see the toms for 808 is not there the Omar record the kick is there good hopefully yeah the snare is there and you know and a couple of toms and yeah so so all right and if I save this guy to uh, uh, again to the downloads uh, I will save it all to this one right it's actually added so so if I take my complete image and SD card and place that on to to my two box these kits will be there so of course I need to find this uh, hi-hat from my old SD card and copy it over but that's not big any big problem so so then you see the Gromit manager is quite neat it's a fantastic tool if you want to create some nice sound bags Right, if you want to repair a sound which is not there in the in the library <coughs> which you have on your card, like the Omar record kit here, I'm missing the hi-hat here. Uh, if I click on that, I can't hear it. 
click the kick drum, I can hear it. Okay, sounds. We go to that tab instead, and we will go to the symbol hi hat directory. Okay, and it was the A set. They have changed the name, I think. 12, yeah, they have. Right, so I would just drag that there. There you go. Everything fine. So, so that's the way to do it. If you haven't copied all the files, I think that you can change that. And then you realize you can actually build your own quick kits quite fast and easy this way. So, all right, just to save again, I'll do that. Let's go for the Anders kit. Right. All right, very nice, isn't it? I think so. And this was the end of the first video. I will sh show you a couple of more videos if you want that on how to use the fantastic Lustark application. So thank you for looking and listening.